Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's Gospel, our Lord says, This generation is an evil generation. And those words could really be applied to every generation since the fall of mankind, because since then, human nature has an inclination to evil, and the way to perdition is wide and easy, and many there are who go that way. And the way to salvation, the way of righteousness, is narrow and difficult, and few there are who are on that way. St. John writes in his first letter, chapter 5, verse 19, the whole world is in the power of the evil one. And the commentary goes on to say that experience teaches us that the world, like Sodom, is full of covetousness, pride, deceit, lust, gluttony, and every evil. The prophet Hosea chapter 4 verse 2 says, There is swearing, lying, killing, stealing, and committing adultery. They break all bounds, and murder follows murder. The world, therefore, is an ocean of crimes and a deluge of vices. So in the midst of this, the Lord has made known his salvation. That's what we say in today's responsorial psalm. In the midst of this fallen world, the Lord has made known his salvation for those who have ears to hear. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. The Gospel Antiphon. Now the Lord makes use of his people to make this salvation known, right? He doesn't just communicate it directly, although he can do that with interior grace and lights, but he does uh, usually make his salvation known um, through his people. And that's what we read about in today's first reading, the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. He says, Paul called to be an apostle. We have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith. And so, St. Paul and the other apostles, by their preaching, sought to lead all peoples to submit themselves to, believe in, and obey the gospel. And each and every one of us who are baptized have also received the grace of apostleship in different ways, in different degrees, but through our lives and the circumstances of our lives, we are called to uh, bring about the obedience of faith for all of those who have ears to hear, whether it be participating in the 40 Days for Life or St. Paul Street Evangelization uh, or just simply in your workplace and your extended family, these type of things. Uh, we need to be striving to bring about the obedience of faith for all of those who have ears to hear, for all of those who are disposed uh, to receive the truth and embrace it once it is made known to them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.